So we're here at Mobile World Congress, and who are you? Stephen Coulson, I'm the Chief Technical Officer and Founder of P2I. So you're the inventor of this technology, right? That's correct. So what is it? So this is a splash-proof technology that I'd like to demonstrate first. Handkerchief? So this is a normal paper tissue, so it's got exactly the same look and feel as a paper tissue. So you can breathe through it, you can still move it around. But when water comes into contact with it, rather than absorbing it, it simply repels it. Now imagine that technical effect on a mobile phone. Hey, it's, it, it feels device. dry. Exactly, it's completely bone dry. So but is, is it now... dangerous to, to use it on the nose? Is there some, some chemicals? <laughs> Not at that all, you, no. You wouldn't wanna I wouldn't blow it? your nose on it because mainly it won't absorb. Okay. But other than that, this is a inert coating. So it's a thousand times thinner yeah. than a human hair. A thousand times thinner. Yeah. So how do you invent that? Is it like everybody knows about this technology or what is it? Like well, it was originally science? designed for military applications to protect a soldier from chemical attack. So environmental threats like rainwater, but also chemical agents. But now it's on over 50 million consumer electronic devices, from hearing aids to Bluetooth headsets and now mobile phones. Do you, do you, do you, you used to work for the military? I used to work for the Ministry of Defence, yeah. Yeah? So where? UK? In the UK, yes. So our office is now based in Oxford, but we also have facilities in the US and over in Shenzhen in China. And we deliver the equipment to our manufacturing partner. And here you have a phone that's still running, it's uh, underwater. Yeah, this is our dunkable technology, so this will be launched later in 2014. So this allows an accidental submersion in the water, as you can see that's been running for two hours now. And you just keep it there, you don't put it out? No, we just leave it in there for the yeah. demonstration. We don't want to keep the clock running, so yeah. that's why we don't uh, reach in and grab it, because people turn off the timer. So that's going to be launched later this year, which is fantastic. So, the last Mobile World Congress, mm -hmm. did you launch or what? Uh, what we did is we talked about the splash-proof technology and talked about an R&D project for Dunkable, but now we've signed up a partner to launch that. So this is the big news this year. So, what's it called? Last year you talked about uh, splash-proof and now you've launched, you've, it's and, in products. How many we products? we talked about the R&D project yeah. of Dunkable technology. Now we're talking about launching with a partner. So, uh, but this has been launched as splash-proof. Correct. Yeah. How many phones? Since when? We've done 25 million phones now since October 2011 and we've done another 25 million electronic devices. So do you have competitors? Yeah, our big competitor today is the people who manufacture a design solution in there, so gasket O-rings and seals, so that's an example of the competitor today. Everybody else who makes a YouTube video is not at the mass manufacturing level, so um, that's our main competitor. So the competitor don't do what you do, they don't have oven stuff going on. You have an oven, right? Correct, Can you explain yes. how it works? So it's a nano-coating technology that puts this ultra-thin layer, a thousand times thinner than a human hair, onto the inside and the outside of the device at the same time. And so that's it goes all protection. over the PCB, Correct. all over the screen, electronics? Yeah, so because it happens at the molecular level, the chemical gets in to form the coating as easy as you do walking around the show. So can you easily do it in like to any device or you need to optimize for every device? We carry out an optimization to every device to make it pass, sure it passes all the stringent tests that are required, but we can apply it to any phones or any electronic device. We've done this to Bluetooth headsets, hearing aids and mobile phones. So do you have to, in the factory, add your equipment in there? And then, uh, is it is it how long time does it take to put this on like a hundred phones, let's say? Well, we have a system that currently processes 700 phones at a time, which takes somewhere between an hour and 90 minutes, depending on the actual product itself. And then we deliver enough of these chambers in order to meet the production throughput requirements of the OEM. Nice. So you just provide them, and then you charge per device. Correct. How much? Secret? Uh, it, yeah, it depends on the volumes. We try and get for splash proof down under a dollar if we can. Okay. per item process, but only if the volumes are attractive. So, for under half a dollar, what's the disadvantage? Do you get a worse phone somehow? Excuse me? Does it, like, make interference? Does it... Is there a risk that some of the connectors don't work anymore? Absolutely or? not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I mean, all of the OEMs go through their own test protocols, full diagnostic checking to make sure we don't damage the phone at all. You don't interfere with the radios nope, nope, at all? No, nope. zero. This, this thickness is a thousand times thinner than a human hair. You can't see it, you can't feel it. You can't feel it, you can't see it, it doesn't... 
degrade anything. Correct. For sure. For sure. So yeah. basically, every phone should have it. Of course, they should. Because it's less than a dollar. Like all the consumers should like stand and demonstrate in front of the company if it's not there. Exactly. And the big drive is coming from the operators as well because now they know there's a technology out there that improves the reliability, will reduce return rates, and reduce customer churn. So. And the, the insurance companies are very happy. They are very happy. The big problem is people using the rate, right? That's right. Yeah. 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 So there's a big pull for the technology in the mobile phone sector. So, uh, Can you say who? when you say uh, 25 million already, that means you've sold 25 million royalty licenses for this. Correct. So you're already a big company. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're a growing technology business. Yeah. How many employees? We're 100 employees across the UK, the US and Asia. And so you're based in Shenzhen and every Shenzhen company can just come and talk to you? We have a applications laboratory over in Shenzhen and absolutely anyone can come and talk to us, get some toll processing done there and then as they gain confidence and grow their volumes, move this into their factories. And every, every, even the cheapest Chinese phone manufacturer should talk with you. Yes, this can be applied to any, any mobile phone or any electronic device, it's very cost effective. And can you make it even more, more cost effective? How fast? Can you make it cheaper somehow in the future? What do you sure, need to yeah, do? I mean, the, the volumes drive cost effectiveness, as we know. So, the more volume we can sign up, the, the better pricing model we can come up with. And does that mean every phone will be dropped uh, like this? Or is it more expensive to do that compared to a splash? Well, these are, these are two different offerings. It's like saying, what's a better mode of transport, a car or an aeroplane? It's really about fit for purpose. Splash proof provides against accidental splashes and spills. So, any device going into an environment where you prefer water not to enter the device in the first place will benefit from splash proof. Anything where accidental submersion is a likely occurrence, then dunkable is the way forward there. So it's not the same technology? No. no. It's similar? Uh, it's based on the same platform technology, but it's delivered in a different way to, to meet a different requirement. It's not the same oven, just a little bit more of it or something? It's a similar platform technology, so a similar oven, but it's optimized to give splash proof protection on the inside and out and dunk immersion protection. So this is more expensive? Uh, this is more expensive, yes. My Double or uh, we're thing. still working that out at the moment. In the next few months, there'll be uh, big brands releasing this. That's correct. Yeah, we have a pioneering partner that will be launching within the second half of this year. 